I'm going to trek a lot today, so I need something that will give me some energy. That's why I'm taking this. So I'm going out there to take my Egyptian bread. Oh, where's my friend? Are you there? Rema? I want... Do you have any bread? Is any, is, um, is any bread baked? Bread? Yeah. Okay, one and two. One, one. Yeah. You can see here, we are extracting our sugarcane juice. If you want your sugarcane juice so fresh, just get the sugarcane and put it in the juicer and your juice is coming out so fresh. You can see this guy here taking his own fresh juice. So, so fresh. This is for breakfast. So, so the juice is so, so sweet for breakfast. So guys, I think I have to stop here. Yeah? So I Thank just take you. my breakfast. Thank you so very much. You can say this baby is enjoying. Yeah, I have to enjoy. So guys, I'll carry you along. Rebago has finished his own food. High Chief has finished his own food. So this is what I'm eating. I might not finish it, but I just wanted to show you what I'll be eating for breakfast. So thank you guys for now. And I'll see you as we go. As I was eating, I just got attention that a sheep was just passing by the restaurant. You know, I told that there's a river night by us eating by the hotel. You can see the sheep that is going. The sheep is going. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's going to be. It's just passing by. So I should just show you people to eat and then show you more views of where the swimming pool is and a better view of River Nile. Hmm? So this is where your baby girl is staying for the main time. So guys, we are done with breakfast and we are about checking out to see the city. But before we go, let me show you guys something. Come and see what my Odogu is wearing in Egypt. He wants to be an African man here. Instead of wearing his shirt and shirt, he said, I must wear my regalia. So guys, let me show you. Oh. <laughs> see what my Odogu is wearing. Hmm? You can see Odogu in Egypt. Hmm? This is what my Odogu is wearing in Egypt. <laughs> guys, you guys should laugh with me. I've been laughing since morning I woke up. <laughs> We are climbing upstairs now to go to the car park so we can head up to see the city. I promise I'm going to take you guys along and that I will do. You can agree with me that this is a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place. Oh boy. What a view to behold. They even have a shop in there where you have beautiful things. Guys, let me show you this shop where you have beautiful things, where you can buy beautiful things. In the hotel, where is the entrance to the shop? The entrance. So guys, I'm in the shop in the hotel. You can see beautiful things. Beautiful, beautiful things. Souvenirs you can give to your friends, family members when you are back from a trip in Egypt. You can see beautiful things. You can see the statues, Pharaoh there. Oh, such beautiful things. This is a shop in Hilton Hotel, Luxo. So when you come here, if you cannot go outside to get things, you can always come here to buy, ranging from Kyoda's, to name it, carvings and all. They are all in here. Hmm? Beautiful souvenirs. Beautiful. Beautiful. So guys, I'm running late. I just saw the shop. I started to show you people. I'm running late. 
and we are going out you see some fine gowns too galabia is very beautiful yeah beautiful ones oh boy oh boy maybe when i'm going i'll pick up myself but i'm hurrying up now then you have some alabasters here this is another shop this is another shop here you can see you can see all the beautiful things here wow wow there's no way i would have finished this video without showing you this oh boy they are so beautiful egypt is a beautiful place to be so guys see the pyramid of egypt the pyramid of egypt this is what you have here see some mugs that are inscribed with the pharaoh's heads some teacups we won't have wristwatches here too we have necklaces we have necklaces here wow so guys i'll keep you posted again as we hurry up because our tour guide is waiting for us Mm -hmm. you've not gone upstairs open my bag and take it this is the lobby the same lady so this is the lobby our tour guide is waiting for us this is the lobby of the hotel and see beautiful place oh good morning you are here to take us out Who? okay okay sorry 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 this is my tour guide good morning how are you today i'm fine this is our tour guide mm -hmm. i'm Dina. her name is vina dina okay dina her name is dina she's one that is taking us out so guys West Bank. <laughs> yeah so we are going out today to see some other places we are waiting for Udogu to come i think he went to take something in the room so while we are waiting let me go out and still show you the surroundings of this place you can see that in this place every hour every minute people are trooping in so this is the surrounding this is the outside of the hotel very pretty buses this is how they troop in all the time now this is the surrounding of the place hilton looks so rusty resort and spa this is where a baby girl is staying hmm? You will agree with me how beautiful this place is. Whoa. Mm -hmm. This is the outside environment. And these are the buses that are waiting to take some guests out to see the city. Mm -hmm. You can see every person waiting. Cars, buses and all. Then this is the police car that came to check if there's any wahala. Mm -hmm. Police are everywhere, making sure there is no trouble in the city. So guys, this is the environment. This is all I can take. You can see how beautiful the place is. Guys, guys, guys. Morning, how are you today? Guys, this is where we are. Hmm? This is where we are. And that should be the entrance, the gate area. That is the gate area. Hmm? 
What a beauty to behold. So guys, I'm done here. Waiting for Obi to come so we can go. And where we get to where we are going to, I will carry you guys along. So guys, before we get to where we are going to, let me just take you along so you can see how the town looks like. My name is Kifengwa Ajayma Rhodes Fiverr and I'm the wife of Brother Rhodes Fiverr, the gubernatorial candidate of the state and the Labour Party. I'm going to Palace Hotel. Okay. This, time this is Winter Palace, Palace Hotel we are passing. Okay, it was the palace of the Lord King of Egypt. That is why it's been named the Palace Hotel. I think we just passed a bank there. It's a small, beautiful city. I call it small but mighty because you have so many wonderful things in here. Everywhere is tall buses. People coming from all over the world. Coming to see different things, Asian things. If people from all over the world can come to Luxo, then you know that you have a lot of things here that they want to really see. So we'll just pass the fine art school. So guys, we have reached our destination and it is called Valley of the Kings. You can see the number of cars here, buses, cars and all. All of us here are for tourism. We are all here to see what the good things that they have here. It is called Valley of the Kings. Whoa! See, the, the number of buses here are over 1,000. Just to see the Valley of the Kings. Guys, I'll take you along. As we do this, see the tourists. Just see, you can imagine. You can imagine what I'm seeing here. Whoa! All these people are here are for tourism. See the buses? See them? You can tell you how important this place is if you come to Luxo. Hmm? Number of people who are here just for tourism. See the buses. Whoa, whoa, I've not seen such before. Guys, you see what I'm seeing? See the crowd. See the crowd here. You see what I'm seeing? All for tourism. All for tourism. Just to see the valley where kings were buried. That is what this is for. Man, I've not seen it like this before. The crowd is so, so much. So, so much. The crowd is so, so much. You can see? Take a look at this view. Take a look at this view. 
Where is he? Take a look at this view. Whoa. Look at this view. I know. I want to take a picture also. Look at this view. We are entering the place now. So we can get a clearer picture of the whole place. We're going to buy our tickets now. Wow. I've never seen it like this before. This is so awesome. Have we gotten our tickets? We'll buy tickets here. Yeah? Okay, we already, we already bought tickets. So we just enter without buying the tickets. You can see what I'm seeing. Hello. So guys, our tour guide wants to tell us about this place. You said it's called what? Valley of the Kings. Okay, it is called the Valley of the Kings. And she wants to give us a brief history of the place. Yeah, very brief. Uh, first of all, we have to know that uh, uh, the ancient Egyptians believe that there is another life after this. Reincarnation. Yeah, to live this life, they have to keep our uh, to keep their bodies uh, by mummifying this body and uh, keep these bodies in a safe place to live this life or to save uh, to live another life. Uh, first, uh, or uh, during the pre-dynastic time, the tombs were very simple, were well, just a hole or a pit in the ground, and they used to put the mummified body looks like a fetus because they believe that they were reapers with the same attitude. Okay. Uh, and because they believe in afterlife, they used to put everything that they were using the, during their life inside the tombs. Uh, like the jewelry, uh, clothes, um, uh, favorite food, favorite drink, favorite bits. They used to put everything they were using the during, the inside the grave and cover this hole by sand. But this way did not save their treasures or did not save their uh, uh, mummies or their bodies. So they developed this uh, uh, this uh, this tomb to and put a, 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 a mastaba. Mastaba looks like a rectangular wall on the top of this hole to hide it and save it. Uh, but this way, up, actually, did not save the treasures or did not save their mummies. So they developed this mastaba to be more than one mastaba over each other like uh, five or six mastaba over each other like the step pyramid of Saqqara have you been there? in Sa the step pyramid of Saqqara? yes yeah. okay so the step pyramid of Saqqara yeah were, uh, was a tool for King Zosur and it was consist of six or seven mastaba, uh, mastaba over each other and this uh, step pyramid to be uh, to developed to be more uh, a full shape for a pyramid like the three pyramids of El Giza. So the three pyramids of El Giza and the step pyramid of Saqqara were tombs for the kings uh, during that time. Uh, later and uh, uh, during the Middle Kingdom, uh, Luxor or Tiba became the capital of Egypt at that time. So most of the kings lived here in Luxor, ruled the country from Luxor. So they, they start to find another place for their cemetery or for their uh, tombs. They choose, uh, choose the west bank of Luxor for more than one reason. Actually, uh, this place, it's, um, they believe that they are like the sun sets and rises. So the sun sets at the west and the uh, sky getting the dark, so it means that the sun died. In their minds, of course. So that's why they... So when the sun sets, they believe the sun died? Mm -hmm. the sky getting dark and no life uh, in the uh, west bank or the west side so that's why they choose the west bank because they believe that the, uh, this place is the land of the dead um, it's a um, uh, uh, isolated place uh, far away place no one can imagine that there is any treasures or any mummies here uh, also it's a dry place um, if it rains uh, just a little bit so it's uh, the mummies and the treasures inside 
And the most important reason that the top of the mountain here looks like a pyramid shape and it's by nature. And the pyramid shape, it's a sacred shape in their minds. So that's why they choose this place or this valley to be their cemetery or to cut their mummies, uh, to, uh, to cut their uh, tombs here in uh, this place. Uh, the first one who cut a tomb for himself here was King Tutmode the first. The father of Queen Hatshepsut. But the last tomb we discovered here was for Tutankhamen in 1922. Okay, uh, although we have 62 tombs here, but just uh, 12 of them open for the visitors, most of the tombs are now closed for uh, restoration, and some of them uh, we found it in a very bad state of preservation. Uh, although this place for the king's tombs, but we found some tombs for some queens want to bury beside their husbands. And uh, uh, that's it. Uh, let's see how they were decorating the tombs. Let's see. We don't yet. Yeah. Yeah. We are done yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. So guys, we are about entering the tomb now. This is the gate. We are queue. People are entering, and then people are coming out. So you have to show your tickets at the gate before you enter. So guys, we have gotten to where the tomb is now. We are just getting close to the place. And that is the place. That is that. Everyone here is trying to record. Every person is trying to record. See the tomb of Ramsey so, the second. They built this place especially for a burial after death because the Egyptians they believe in a life after death. So he built this place before he died, so he could be buried here. And this is blue. See the top of the place from the ground to stand there. It's a bit going dark here, so you don't really see what I'm talking about. But this is a special tone for Ramsey. This is the tomb. So this is side of it. You started the front too, didn't you? There's a video, right? Of the whole
so we have come to the top of the temple you can see the carvings on the wall people going up to see ah man i'm so tired i don't know i'm going to climb this but i just have to do this you can see people chinese russians all over the world they are all here so guys let's just keep doing this let me just show you around this place mm. you can see high chief high chief is trying to come up he's not ever tired i'm done he's always tired at times i do rest but he doesn't want to rest mm. oh boy so guys this is the end of our trip to the valley of the tombs you can see the crowd in here everyone from all over the world they are all here you can see so guys we are going back to the hotel and i'll keep you guys posted thank you for staying with me